They're set. Green light. Racing, Lanacost easily left best. The Queenslander dashed to the early lead. Lanacost from Mark Wiper in second. The Rockcar Estella third, then Black Cruiser. A little bit deep into the first bend. Smooth Courage, but will end up one out, one back because Black Cruiser went back to the inside. Eaton Bromac second last and Smiling Shard. Double D went back at the start with Smiling Shard and the Kiwi about 25 metres behind Lanacost early. Lanacost got an easy lead. He leads by 10 metres and the pace is slow. Rock Car Estella second waiting for the express post lane and Black Cruiser three back the inside then Mark Wiper. Smooth Courage, Eaton Bromac. Now Smiling Shard made the move out three wide but Eaton Bromac came out in front of it. So Eaton Bromac strides to third and I dare say will gain a 1-1 trial in the moment as Smiling Shard moves up swiftly. 7.5 the lead time. First quarter 31-9 and the leader Lanacost leads by four metres. Rock Car Estella and Smiling Shard. One out, one back. Eaton Bromac, Black Cruiser on the inside is three back, then second last was Mark Wiper and Smooth Courage at the tail and some 15 metres off the lead, Lanacost in front but Smiling Shard given a bit more rain on the outside, looms up, there 10 metres clear of Eaton Bromac, Rock Car Estella the pace on, Mark Wiper under the whip, then Black Cruiser and Smooth Courage up to the turn, the two top quality Colts move around the bend Lanacost, the Queenslander the Kiwi on the outside, Smiling Shard, they're clear of Eaton Bromac off the back in 27-8. Lenacost and Smiling Shard. A stirring battle. Lenacost in front. Smiling Shard the outside. Won't be denied. He's coming after Lenacost. Lenacost finding something. He's just in front. The Queenslander prevails. Lenacost beats Smiling Shard. Third Eaton Bromac. Then Mark Wiper. Well back Smooth Courage. Black Cruiser and Rotkar Estella. Last quarter, 27-5. A half of 55-3 if you don't mind. And a mile rate of 157-1. They've run 27-8, 27-5 down the straight. It was a great battle between these two top quality paces. But Lanacost, with the easier run, has prevailed from Smiling Shard. And they got a well clear of the others, headed by Eaton Bromac, number six. What a good race. Bring on the Breeders' Crown. Three, Lanacross, the winner by Courage of the Fire of Lanark, raced by Dotcom Internet, Propriety Limited, Major Dean Shannon, Daryl Graham, the trainer driver. It runs underway. Sleepy trips out brilliantly from Barrier 2 to take the lead. It's flooded out then by Rocket Star and Stalin. Cullen's not being rushed. Joyful Joy's gone up and around the outside and goes to the front, so the filly takes over. Joyful Joy now from Sleepy Trip and moving up to Stalin. Cullen the outside. Rocket Star was followed back in the inside then. Percy the punter. Tinted America over on the outside, then Vaid Enemo, about two lengths away to Buster Harland, another two back behind those, then who were followed by Manhattan Rusty, another two and a half to Eric's Legion, two away Highview Tommy, there's plenty of speed on further back, about three lengths away to Wesleyan, a couple of lengths away, then who were followed by well back at this stage now towards the tail is Harley Earl and the tail ender is Bushfire into the back they run and stun and Cullen's motored round to be the leader Anthony Butt takes the favourite to the lead by length and a quarter in the derby and going up again a sleepy trip to take on Stalin Cullen and sleepy trip has gone to the lead again and the leader by length and a quarter sleepy trip controlling the speed has followed moving up on the outside rocket star to face the breeze now Stalin Cullen trails the leader over the outside tinted in America then the filly in the inside joyful joy round the turn out of the straight they run Percy the punt as well locked away on the inside by it Animo the other and there goes Highview Tommy first quarter 31-1 into the back they go in the Christian Cullen New Zealand derby they race down the se uh, side second quarter 30.8 and the leader by a length now is Sleepy tripping up on the outside high view Tommy right behind the leader stunning Cullen rocket star coming wide and what about Buster Harlan round the bend in the derby they swing for home now and it's Sleepy trip the leader high view Tommy stunning Cullen getting through on the inside rocket star by an animo's wider wider up then to Manhattan Rusty, but Sleepy Trip's holding on down to the post. Sleepy Trip is going to win the Christian Cullen New Zealand derby.